you're already applying the DR basics principles that I've shared in my last videos to your trading. But what if I told you there's one final piece that takes it to the next level? It's building a statistical edge using nearly two decades of historical data, specifically tailored for the DR trading strategy. Let me show you how access to deep historical data enhances everything you've learned so far and can be used for perfect executions based on time and price, that it almost feels illegal. Today's example will be on gold futures from last week's Thursday overnight price action. Why exactly this price action? This particular price action is a repeating pattern that I've covered multiple times, and by now you should be familiar with this DR model constellation between the aftermarket and overnight DR session. The aftermarket and overnight DR session together form a DR downside model, with the overnight DR respecting the aftermarket DR highs. With a green DR box and long confirmation, probabilities are already stacking in favor of a potential long setup, but caution is required as we are trading against a DR downside model that remains intact. Target selection is crucial here, as trading too high into the aftermarket DR level significantly lowers the probability of success. At this point, there's still potential to see a DR range expansion model, where the aftermarket DR highs could be broken, shifting probabilities toward a DR range expansion model or trumpet-like price action for the remainder of the day. Even before any confirmation happens, preparation is key. This means highlighting key levels such as volume and gap imbalances and previous DR session levels that align with the current defining range. The easiest way is to have an indicator that does this automatically, but when not available, manual marking is necessary. In this session, there are three open magnetic volume imbalances inside the range, two at the upper part and one inside the retirement setup area. Two intraday gap imbalances from the aftermarket defining range can assist in decision making for targets by acting as potential barriers for price. Additionally, three previous DR session levels align with the current defining range and should be marked for reference. You should know this procedure by now. With all of these levels mapped out, two high probability retracement areas become clear, one in the upper part of the defining range and another deeper inside the range reaching the retirement setup area. With everything now prepared, it's time to switch over to historical data using QuantX. This platform provides a structured, data-driven framework, eliminating guesswork and reliance on subjective judgment. By selecting relevant parameters such as the asset, DR session, day, confirmation direction, assuming the DR session to be true, and the confirmation time, QuantX quickly calculates and visualizes past occurrences under these exact conditions. In this case, the dataset narrows down to 70 instances where the same price action has unfolded over the past 18 years. For one of many entry methods that I teach in my M7DR Academy called Time and Price Trading, the focus is placed on three primary data points, the maximum retracement time, the maximum retracement during the session, and the maximum extension for target selection. To refine the dataset further, the maximum retracement time is narrowed down to the median time, highlighting the point at which 50% of retracements have historically occurred. For time and price trading, this window marks the time we want to look for potential entries. Once selected, QuantX recalculates the probabilities, refining the dataset to 37 examples. With the retracement time now identified, the next step is marking the median maximum retracement time on the chart with a vertical line. Now comes the process of identifying high probability retracement areas. This brings us to the maximum retracement data measured in standard deviations. Since the probability of a retracement into the defining range is high, the focus remains on retracements occurring within the range. The data immediately reveals clear high probability retracement clusters. The first cluster marks a retracement area between minus 0.1 and minus 0.4. The second cluster falls between minus 0.5 and minus 0.6, aligning with the 70th percentile. And the final significant retracement area appears between minus 1.01 and minus 1.1, technically still inside the defining range, making it an ideal retirement setup scenario. With retracement time and price zones now identified, 
The final step is selecting a high probability target based on historical data. The maximum extension data window provides the necessary insights. The 70th percentile aligns with an extension of 1.8 standard deviations, while the median reached 50% historically sits at 2.6 standard deviations. A frequently reached target historically in this distribution appears between 1.7 and 1.8 standard deviations. This provides an ideal target for the session. With the 1.7 to 1.8 standard deviation level now positioned above the aftermarket DR highs, there is a strong assumption that the DR downside model may be broken. With the data now plotted, the final step is toggling back on the previously identified volume and gap imbalances, as well as the previous DR levels to refine the execution process. The chart now clearly presents multiple high probability entry opportunities within the predefined time and price window. The first entry opportunity arises once price retraces into the minus 0.1 to minus 0.4 retracement area, also filling the open volume imbalances. With stops placed below the opening price, this setup offers approximately a 5R potential trade. If price retraces deeper, a second opportunity unfolds near the minus 0.5 level, where stops would cover key levels such as open volume imbalances and previous DR session level. With both scenarios now outlined, the only thing left is to wait for price to retrace into these zones and execute accordingly. 20 minutes later, the first retracement area is tagged. Trained DR time and price traders might have been filled with a limit order here, but even waiting for the candle close allows for a high probability setup with a 4R potential. Price pushes higher and reaches the predefined median time of 5.30 am, an important factor since this is when 50% of retracements are typically done historically. With this knowledge, it's reasonable to assume that the session's maximum retracement is now in place. At this point, moving the stop loss to break even is an option, though not mandatory. The impact of this decision can also be backtested, revealing valuable insights into how often trades would have played out if stops remained untouched or not moved to break even. This is the power of a data driven approach, making informed decisions based on historical patterns rather than gut instinct. Ultimately, price extends to two standard deviations, surpassing the initial target and further showing the effectiveness of this method. When you truly know your probabilities and execute within a structured framework, the possibilities are endless. This is what makes the DRIDR trading strategy one of the most powerful approaches in the market. Unlike other trading concepts that rely heavily on discretionary decision making, making them difficult to backtest and highly dependent on individual interpretation, this strategy is rooted in real measurable data. And always remember, data can't lie. I hope this breakdown provided valuable insights into how historical data strengthens the DR strategy and how integrating a data-driven framework enhances the precision of every trade. If you want to see more in-depth breakdowns on different assets, days or even sessions, let me know in the comments and leave a like. I hope to see you in the next video. We're gonna take on the world.